This crispy fried fish is simple to prepare but yet so delicious. Hi, and you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, then go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be the first one to be notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. For this recipe, we're going to be going in with six kingfish steaks, which weigh approximately 900 grams. And I've washed it and pat dried it. To start, we're going to salt the fish. And be generous because fish without salt, there's no flavor. I'm just going to lift this one and get the pieces underneath too. Now we're going to flip them over and salt them on the other side. Let's sprinkle on some pepper too. Now let's keep the fish aside and mix up our marinade. We're going to be going in with one and a half tablespoon of Kashmiri chili powder. And I'm using Kashmiri chili powder because I love the color that comes from it and it's very mild in spice. And to that we're going to add 3 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder and this is going to give that lovely glow to the fish. And for some earthy flavors, we're going to go in with 1 4 teaspoon of cumin powder, 1 teaspoon of garlic paste and half a teaspoon of ginger paste. Now to give the fish that lovely crispy outer coating, I like to add one tablespoon of cornstarch. You could even use gram flour or rice flour if you have that handy. And now for a little bit of time, we're going to go in with two teaspoons of lemon juice. And now to make this into a paste, we're going to go in with one tablespoon of water and we can add more if we need. Let's mix this together. We're definitely going to have to add some more water. Now we're going to add another tablespoon. We want it to be of a thick consistency. So we'll just add one tablespoon of water at a time. Just going to add half a tablespoon more. That's looking good. We're going to apply this marinade on each piece of the fish, making sure that we get both sides. Just going to put it onto the fish first and then we'll spread it around. We've got our gloves on and we're ready to go. Shall we press it in a little bit, but be very gentle. You don't want to break up the fish. You can use this marinade on any fish that you like and it'll taste excellent. My family is very fond of fish and this is my go-to recipe because there's nothing better than fried fish. Now that we've got the marinade evenly in all the slices, we're going to cover it up with a plastic wrap and keep it aside for one hour so that the fish gets a chance to absorb all the lovely flavors before we fry it. The fish has marinated, now it's time to fry it. So to a heated skillet, we're gonna add about three tablespoons of oil. And now we're gonna place three pieces of the fish inside the pan to fry. We've got our heat on medium because we don't want the marinade to burn. And we're gonna keep a close eye because fish cooks very quickly. It's also a good idea to let it cook completely on one side before you flip it over to cook on the other side. You don't really want to keep flipping it from side to side. Well, I'm getting a lovely aroma in my kitchen and I cannot wait to give this a taste. And now we're going to allow the fish to fry on the other side. The fish is fried and it's looking nice and crispy, so now let's take it out and put it in a plate. The second batch of fish is all fried. Now let's take them out and add them to the plate. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And now it's time to give the fish a taste. And I'm going right ahead because I love fish. Just gonna squeeze some of the lemon on it. And cut out a bit from here. Wow. Mmm. Wow, I really enjoyed that fish. It's so fresh and full of flavor. I'm telling you, you'll want to give this recipe a try. So hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.